How to undo this? It can't be like that. No, no, no! What happened? Episode 17. Dora's computer is broken down. Welcome back to Dora's Stories. In the previous episode, Dora had a wonderful time in Greece, the land of gods with delightful sceneries. After the trip, Dora comes back to the city to lead a busy but dynamic life. Good morning, Dora. Morning, Jess. Why did you wake up so early? It's Sunday today, isn't it? You don't have to go to work. No, I don't. After my traveling, there are tons of work cut out for me, Jess. Poor you, my friend. Today is Sunday fun day. I'll do something fun. Like what? I'm thinking about going somewhere nice and taking a walk in the park. How to undo this? It can't be like that. No, no, no! What happened? My laptop is acting up again. It suddenly shut down and I could not open it anymore. Oh no, how bad. This is my go-to store whenever my laptop stops running. They have the best service ever. Thank you for going with me. Hello, miss. What may I help you with? There is something wrong with my laptop. I couldn't turn it on anymore. Some of our customers have faced the same problem. But we can't be so sure. Our computer repair technicians will check it thoroughly. Don't worry. When will my computer get fixed? It will take at least one day since our store is a bit crowded today. Alright, I get it. Thanks for choosing us. I'll give you a call when we finish the repair. Hey, how's it going? What did they tell you? They said they needed at least a day to fix my laptop and they would call when done. Okay, fine then. But how about my work? You can use my laptop. <sighs> Everything is in my laptop now. I couldn't do anything about it. I see. As you can't finish your work now, no matter what. So I suggest we have a fun day together. You're right. People always say, take life as it comes. Indeed. I'm taking you to my favorite childhood place. Let's hit the road, Dora. American Museum of Natural History? This is your favorite place when you were small? Yep. You know, the American Museum of Natural History is a New York icon. You won't be counted as being New York until you step into this museum. Sounds like a hook, Jess. It is. Let's go inside. Welcome to the AMNH. Two adult tickets with no other services, please. The general admission is $46 for two tickets. Thank you. Thank you. This is the Mammal Halls. They have examples of mammals of both the old and the new world. What a huge collection, right? Yeah. Next, we are in birds, reptiles, and amphibian halls. Ooh, birds! I love them. How about reptiles and amphibians? The way I see it is that they can live in different habitats, so they seem to be the most powerful and interesting species. 
I see, but they're also very scary. Hey, look! This said the bird collection gives museum goers a brief glimpse at the dwindling bird species being lost in the name of fashion. In the past, people used to use bird feathers to make hats. Well, I don't like the hat industry. These are my favorite halls, the fossil halls. It now houses the largest collection of fossil mammals and dinosaurs in the world. Is that a T-Rex fossil? That's right, this dinosaur skeleton is a must-see when visiting the AMNH. It looks so enormous and fierce, Jess. Yes, it absolutely is. Oh, do you know what? Actually, there is an appealing story behind this T-Rex skeleton. The fossil was originally arranged so that the dinosaur stood upright. Museum experts later determined that it was more accurate to show the T-Rex in his stalking position. Stalking position? You meant he was following, watching, or harassing a prey? That's true, Dora. Just look at him. He stands with his head low, tail extended, and one foot slightly raised. I can sense the sneakiness in his position. Indeed. This T-Rex is as sneaky and skillful as you when you stalk your ex-boyfriend's social media. Hey, stop it! This is the Biodiversity and Environmental Halls. I can finally watch the free-floating blue whale, right? Yes, it is one of the biggest attractions of New York City. However, we gotta go through the forest halls first before heading to the Oceanic Hall, where they place the whale. Welcome everyone to the Milstein Hall of Ocean Life. This hall focuses on marine biology, botany, and marine conservation. The hall is most famous for its life-sized female blue whale model. Please enjoy your visit and please feel free to ask any questions. Thank you. Excuse me, what keeps the whale afloat? That's a good question because it is so massive. I hadn't even considered it. One of our security guards at the museum said it was powerful magnets. A popular line of speculation involves either wires or strings so thin that they cannot be easily seen. Yeah, there are thin wires. That would be wrong. We built a system of steel wires that kept the mammals stuck to the ceiling. Thanks to that, Museum visitors can have an authentic deep-sea experience. No wonder. Anyway, it's kind of impressive the way that lets it look free-floating. Oh, I get it now. 